Magic dresses are all the rave right now. Since they hit the website, they've been selling out like hotcakes. And it's no wonder with their versatility and glamorous look. But why spend thousands of dollars for the Marc Jacobs version when you can get ours for a fraction of the cost? In this video, Megan and I are gonna show you all the wonderful ways to wear this dress. It's like a million dresses in one. I'm gonna go put this on, I'll be right back. All right guys, so we're starting out with our magic dresses on and this is pretty much the, the Marc Jacobs look. So how we got this look is, um, actually I'm gonna show you guys what it's shaped like really quick. So I'm gonna untie this. This was just tied in a knot. So the magic dress is, yeah, hold yourself in there. It's like this, it's got a lot of material. So to get achieve the Marc Jacobs look, you just tie it in a knot over one of your shoulders. It's really easy. That. And then you kind of just let the fabric hang over your shoulder. And if you were to buy that dress from Marc Jacobs, it's about $3,000, which is ridiculous. So here you're paying way less than that. And not only can you do this, you can do a lot of other looks. I'm gonna show you one of my favorites. So we're sticking with the same um, kind of idea with the one shoulder look, but only this, you're gonna tie a bunch of little bows and it's gonna look like a flower on your shoulder. It's really cute. So once you get done with all the fabric, you tie it all in knots, then you take the bows and you're gonna open them up. So you take all the extra fabric and you open it up and then this is gonna look like a really pretty flower. There you go, and that's a one shoulder flower tie. Let's do, we're gonna do a halter version. So to do a halter version on this magic dress, you basically untie it and then you have to slide the ruching over. The ruching, ruching. <laughs> okay, so you slide it over to the middle. Just gonna slide that. <laughs> and I just tied this into a regular bow. And also you can do the same effect that Cassandra did on my shoulder on the back if you have somebody there to tie it for you like that. <laughs> Yeah. And, um, or you would just, I guess, have to look in the mirror. It might be a little time consuming, but you could definitely do it if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. So this is a halter version. And we can tie these other ways too, so that it looks like you have sleeves. It's actually really cute. Um, all right, so we're actually gonna move Megan's rouging seam. Other way. <laughs> oh, we're moving her seam to the middle like we did with mine. So you put the two fabrics in the front, and what you're gonna do is you're pretty much gonna open up the fabric as much as you can. You kind of put it over the shoulder, that way it looks like a cap sleeve, kind of. So you do that, and then turn around so I can show them the back. And then the back, you're just gonna crisscross it, like that. She's gonna bring it around to the front, and you can just tie a bow off to the side. If you wanted to give it a little bit sexier, you can always make these smaller. It down a little bit. Or if you want an even sexier way to do this one, we're gonna untie it in the front, and then we're gonna bring it up over the shoulders. It's gonna be about that thick. You're gonna crisscross it, and then we're gonna tie it in the front again how we did for the previous version. So, it's really cute. Is this, if you wanna, you can even make a belt out of this if you wanted to, like that. So kind of cinch your waist, give you an hourglass shape, and then tie it in a bow in the back. I mean, there's so many options that you can mm -hmm. do with this dress. Do you want to show them a tube top version on me? Yeah, okay. definitely. Okay, so right now Cassandra's in her halter variation, and all you do for your tube top or tube dress variation is you just take this, go under your arms, and then you're just gonna Megan's go. pushing me around. <laughs> you just take it in the back and you, you crisscross your straps. Then you come back, you go under one and over the other. Hold that for okay. these. Take the other one, come under one, over the other, bring them back around, and then just tie it in a bow. And then you have your variation. And this I noticed, if I didn't want to um, wear it as a tube, I could also 
And tie it and wear it as a halter. <laughs> You're choking me. <laughs> the possibilities are I think endless. it might be easier if we, hold on. Let's twist it really quick. Okay. Yeah, that holds it better. I mean this, if you're wearing it out and something's not comfortable, there's so many, like you could change it up while you're out. It's kind of cool. Uh, you could like go to the bathroom and come back with a different dress on. Yeah. Without actually changing your dress. Yeah. <laughs> That's definitely perfect for when you go to a party and someone's wearing a similar dress. Like you guys both have tube dresses on. Oh, mine's a halter now. But. <laughs> So basically, this was just our favorite ways to wear our magic dresses. We love them. It's like a million dresses in one. And when you get your magic dress, maybe leave us a video response of your favorite ways how to do it, or leave us a comment and tell us different ways we can wear ours. Thanks for watching. I hope you love your dress.